All right, so I'm back, and today, by request, we're going to be, I'm going to be talking about uh, the reveals that happened over the past week at the Toy Fair. Um, originally, I wasn't going to do a video by this, or about this, because, uh, honestly, I didn't feel that there was quite enough for me to really talk about. Um, I mean, yeah, there's some great reveals, don't get me wrong, but... I feel a lot of it was focused on the um, R.I.D. line, the let's see, uh, the I think the bobblehead, the weird, de super deformed things. I don't know the bobblehead here, hard hero. I don't, I don't even know what they're called, honestly. Um, and the um, Creos. Um, there was a lot of reveals on those, and I honestly could care less about them. Um, I'm not going to be collecting the R.I.D. line as of now. Um, if the show comes out and proves to be really, really awesome, then I might start buying them. But as of right now, I have no intention to get them. Just the same way as I felt with the uh, Transformers Prime figures. Um, I had no interest in getting them until the show came out and turned out it was really cool. And then I collected pretty much the whole series. Then I sold it off because they, never, they were never going to finish the, the figures. Um, but... Uh, yeah, I figured I'd just uh, talk about some of these things that we saw. Um, so, um, let's start. Let's start with the big one, uh, Devastator. We got some a, a lot of really great pictures um, and promotional material for the Devastator. Um, I'm a little. I, I was a little shocked that uh, we were seeing green Devastator um, at this point. Um, because from what I've heard, the San Diego Comic-Con is supposed to be getting the yellow Devastator. Um, and then the green one won't be out till the end of the year, um, fall sometime. So I, I, I was kind of shocked that we were seeing the green one and not the yellow one. Um, because the yellow one should be done first. But, yeah, maybe, maybe they're going to do tons of the green ones and just sit, sit on them for a while. I don't know. Um... So, let's talk about him. Um, he looks great. Uh, the com combined mode, um, and, and I'm going to get into my words later, um, but um, the Devastator mode, it, um, it looks great. Uh, at first, I didn't like it when the first few promo shots leaked out. Um, I still have some issues with it. His arms look a little spindly. Um, his uh, Mixmaster foot has no paint on the f front of it. Um, you know, but overall, he looks great. And then um, from what uh, some people have shown me pictures of, um, like the G1 Devastator comes up to about his um, thigh, I think it is. And that, that particular Devastator comes up to about um i was trying to do some scale here um so about here so the new one should be about this tall or so um so maybe a head shorter uh and then i also you know was using that to go off of um because warbatron is ha uh twice the size of the fans project bruticus um so that would put him about here. So Warbatron is going to actually scale with the new Devastator. Um, so that's pretty cool for people that collect those. Because um, that's definitely more MP scale than than anything I have now. So, anyway. Um, but then we get into the individual bots. Um, and I've heard a lot of people say this, and I have to agree with them. Uh... They honestly look like Legends figures that were scaled up. And I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, Scrapper, or no, Scavenger and um, Bone Crusher. Their legs look funky because of the way they transform. Um, let's see. Scrapper I have the biggest problem with because he has no elbows. He looks like he's got swivels but no fucking elbows. I hope that the only reason why they're doing that is to uh, help stabilize the, the figure in in, um, in Devastator mode. 
But other than that, there's no excuse for not having elbows. Um, and I have one one friend that says, uh, you know, they're just basically scaled up versions of the G1 figures, and that's great. Um, but for me, um, at this day and age, there there's certain posability that has to be in a figure. Um, there has to be at least a head swivel. Um, either a universal or ball jointed shoulders hinge at the elbow um, universal or ball jointed hips and a hinge at the knees everything else I could kind of forgive you know if they don't have wrist movement if they don't have ankle tilts if they don't have waist swivel you know things like that I can forgive here and there depends on on why um, but having no elbows is is on line of unforgivable trespass there I, I uh, um, they look very hollow uh, long haul looks like he's had uh, a few too many um, donuts before work uh, he is a thick boy <laughs> he is a big boy um, and I'm not a huge fan of that um, other than that the heads look great uh, they look like their G1 counterparts um, I'm hoping that they come with some guns some real guns, not not this, you know, okay, well, this is the forearm for Devastator. We're going to use this as a gun. Um, I, no. I mean, I can forgive it here and there, but honestly, they really should have guns. I mean, at least with the aerial bots that we've been getting, they come with their own guns, and then they also come with the weird combiner, or combined part, um, like the foot or the hand so they come with a gun and the foot so they get the goofy looking thing but then they also get a regular gun so at least there's that um all right so overall um yes i will be getting the devastator i will probably be getting um the green one and the yellow one uh if i can uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with them because it won't fit this collection. But, I mean, I just, I cannot sit here and I wouldn't be able to live with myself saying, yes, I skipped out on the biggest combiner of all time. I, no. It's not how this is going to work. Um, but I'm not, I'm not really expecting much out of the robots. I don't think they're going to be at all spectacular. I don't. I'm gonna. I, I honestly think I'm gonna be horribly disappointed with them, um, and it looks like they sacrificed the robot modes to make the vehicle modes and thus make Devastator, which you know is one of those things that I really hate when they have to sacrifice one of the modes to make something else work. I mean, G1 didn't have to do that. Um, not really, no. I mean. Aside from Scramble City, whose biggest sacrifice was all the uh, limb bots had really tiny heads. Um, that was really the only sacrifice they made in, in favor for the uh, main body. Um, Alright, so before we continue, I want to talk about combine and combined. Um, I say combined a lot, uh, with the D at the end. Um, I know it's not right. Um, that's just the way I've always heard it uh, from where I live. Uh, and that's how I've always said it. I know it's wrong. It's just a habit that I'm, I have a really hard time um, getting over. I, somebody asked me on the previous video, so I wanted to just say that. I don't take offense to you asking me that. It's it's one of those things. Uh, you know, I, a lot of people say mountain. I say mountain as if there's no T in there, you know, things like that. I mean, it's just the weird, different type of dialect, um, different people. Um, and I know what you're saying is like, well, but that doesn't make sense. Well, I come from a, where I live right now anyway, is a really heavy ski area, um, where they have, um, what it's actually called like Alpine combined with a D at the end, um, where they, um, it's cross country skiing and sports style uh, downhill racing, uh, where they do two different types of ski racing, and it's one, it's combined with a D at the end. Uh, so a lot of people say that because there's a lot of that around here. Um, 
so that's probably where I picked it up and I just it's just one of those bad habits like you just can't I can't drop I mean I just just like I say um, soda not pop uh, I, I've always said soda you know it's like and some people say pop you know tomato tomato things like that I know I know it's it's not quite tomato tomato with combine and combined but for me it, it, it kind of is uh, because, like I said, the area I live in, there is a lot of talk about combined, because it's 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 part of skiing. Um, so, anyway, moving on. Um, so then we got some legend class figures. Um, we got this one called Viper, um, which is a purple repaint of the Power Glide mold. Uh, I still haven't found the Power Glide. It's not here. I need to find one. <laughs> uh, but he look he looks he looks cool. Um, I mean, it's one of those. It's like you know they're they're just kind of they're doing it for the sake of doing it, um, which you know props to Hasbro for for doing it. Um, yeah, there's there's Huffer. I think we've seen that one before, uh, which is the repaint and slight retool of the Optimus Prime mold, um, which is good because I don't want to spend you know fifty sixty bucks on the little eye gear one, so. Yeah, he's not perfect, but he's going to sit there. Um, there's rumors that there's going to be a Pipes at some point. Uh, so I think it's probably just going to be a blue repaint of him. Hopefully with the mouth plate, at least. Um, uh, let's see. We got uh, first look at Warpath. Legend Class Warpath. Which is, looks good, but not quite accurate. Because it's using the Megatron mold. Um, the Legends Megatron mold. Where, the, where he turns into a tank and the cannon ends up on his forearm. Um, so it looks cool, but you know, cannon's supposed to come out of the chest. I, I know that they're just reusing the mold for whatever they can, and it's not really gonna be able for them to incorporate that uh, very easily. Uh, I will be getting him, um, no, no doubt there. Um, let's see here. Um, one figure that I, I was really not thinking I was going to like as much as I, I did was um, Cyclonus using the um, Silverbolt mold. Um, I, I was sitting there like, what are you doing? No, that doesn't work as Cyclonus at all. That, that's going to look stupid. I, I, I had the thought of using the, the Brainstorm with the retooled head. Uh, I thought that would have been a decent Cyclonus, but Silverbolt, no. But then once we saw the pictures of it, I was like, Okay, I can see it. <laughs> he looks pretty good. Uh, I really do like him. I will be getting him. Um, and apparently he's supposed to combine with some other um, figures to make um, Galvatronus. Uh, I don't think we really... I don't think we got a look at what he is joining with. Um, so I'll, I'll kind of wait and see what happens with that. Uh, I do kind of hope that it's uh, a new Scourge figure and they just make four of them <laughs> maybe give them different weapons or something like that um, I think that would be awesome if they could if score four new scourges can combine with Cyclonus and make Galvatronus and maybe I, I don't know I don't even know who Galvatronus is honestly um, apparently he's a combiner But he looks cool. I like the Cyclonus. Uh, I will be getting him. Um, it, 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 it'll get to the point where... Um, I don't know if you're right now. Uh, I've been trying to redo my shelves lately. Um, but it'll probably get to the point where I, I, I'll have to choose two out of the three. Either the KFC one that I just reviewed, the... Universe one or the new one one of them is not going to make the shelf cut and it's probably going to be the universe one to be honest um, So so yeah, that's gonna be interesting um, Let's see what else we got um, We got Defensor coming um, And soon too from what I from what I hear uh, most of these figures from what I hear are due out in April uh, I, It's like good lord April. I mean, is we're halfway through February, and we're gonna see these things in April, a month and a half from now. Holy crap! Maybe two months. That that's awesome. 
Uh, I don't know what they're going to do for the rest of the year, but wow. Um, Devastator uh, is fall, and Ultra Magnus is June, from what I hear. Um, so that's that's just shocking that we're going to be getting these things so quickly. Um, I don't know what they're planning for the rest of the year, so I, I'm kind of excited. Uh, anyway, back to the Defense Orb. Uh, so they took Groove, the the bike, the bike out of the limb configuration. Uh, he is now a Legends class figure that's going to fit into the chest of the Defense Orb, um, and I, I think that will work. Uh, personally, I would prefer the motorcycle to be part of the limbs, uh, like he always has been, but. I know a lot of people do have scale issues that a motorcycle would be the same size as a helicopter, a van, and a um, cop car. So by removing him and putting in the, they've got like the SWAT truck that they're putting in there named Rook. Um, so by taking him out and putting Rook in, um, it, it will solve some of those scale issues. And when some people sit there and think, oh well, helicopters are really really big in comparison to a car well um, where I live anyway um, our flight for life helicopters are not very big uh, we're talking two people and, and the uh, a bed in the back it's it's no bigger than a van really so it, it does scale pretty well um, some of the flight for life um, helicopters. We also got rescue helicopters, which is just a two-seater. Um, so, um, so anyway, I mean, I, I've seen all that. So, anyway, um, I kind of, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited for the Defensor. Um, you know, I, I did trade off my TFC Defensor before I was able to finish him. Um, but it's awesome that we're going to be getting one so soon. Um, you know, if, if April's accurate, we might actually, well, no, I think the defense or TFC's defense is pretty much done. Um, um, but, um, yeah, I, I do, I am, I'm pretty excited for it. Um, you know, the Rook looks cool, new character, you know, um. You get Blades, which is a slight retool and repaint of um, Alpha Bravo, which, you know, I called. Um, still looks like he could still be uh, used again for Vortex. Um, Rook definitely looks like uh, they can add a turret to the top, and he'd be some kind of all-terrain truck tank um, for Brawl. Um, then we got a cop car. Um, I didn't quite get a good look at him through the pictures. So, but my guess is he's probably a retool of one of the uh, uh, Stunticons. I mean, that would just make sense. Um, and then First Aid, of course, looks awesome. I love First Aid, so I'm very excited to finally get a First Aid um, that's in the scale I want. So I'm very happy about that. Um, it does not look like a retool of anybody. Um, not sure what they could retool him into. Um, but yeah. Um, and then, and then we get Hot Spot, which looks absolutely incredible. I really love the way he looks. Um, and again, he's just screaming to be turned into Onslaught. Which, by the way, uh, we did get a um, what are the Toys R Us confirmations again? Uh, early leaks, uh, which was the same way we found out about pretty much everything else, uh, like the Devastator and stuff like that. But uh, that there will be doing an onslaught in a Voyager scale and doing a scattershot in Voyager scale, which means Berticus and Computron. And if that's true, then that means in one year, Hasbro will have put out Superion, Minasaur, Bruticus, Defensor, Devastator, and Computron. <laughs> Six combiners, one year. That would be absolutely incredible. Um, yeah, I know some people aren't liking them entirely. I'm loving them myself. Uh, I'm not going to be loving the Devastator, but um, but I, I will still be buying him. Like I said, probably two copies of him. 
But I, I, I'm just I'm loving what they're doing, and you know it's it's just one of those is like once you stop and think about it, the only ones that they're missing from the G1 show now would be Abominus and Predaking. Uh, and there are rumors of a Predaking. So if they could squeeze out Abominus and Predaking, uh, you know, maybe retool some of the Predacons into uh, some of the Abominus guys. Uh, I mean, it would be hard, but uh, not too hard. I mean, if you take, uh, like, the uh, Bull, you could retool him into uh, uh, Blot. Um, tantrum to blot, um, rampage. You could kind of retool into sinner twin. Um, you could take the rhino and retool it into ripper snapper. It, that would look okay, I guess. Um, it, it would have to almost be a full reshell. Um, then obviously dive bomb would go to cutthroat. Uh, and then Razor Claw. I don't think Razor Claw would work very well as uh, Hungar. Um, so I, I, I was just thinking off the top of my head, you know, if you, because I, I remember when I had the uh, TFC Predaking, um, I was kind of eyeing it, like, hmm, I wonder if I could retool this into a <laughs> Abominus. But anyway, totally off track now. Um, what else did we get? Uh, so, yeah, Defensor looks awesome. I, I really love him. Uh, and he's just, for the most part, screaming to become Onslaught. Um, let's see. I, I guess that's really it. That was all there was. I, I know I'm forgetting someone. Who would that be? Oh, yeah. Alter Magnus. <laughs> I know, you guys are probably sitting there like, oh, what an idiot. But anyway, Ultra Magnus. Holy shit. Um, just wow. That figure looks awesome. Um, I am extremely excited for that. Um, he does look um, not quite as good as the um, Masterpiece one did um, when, you know, we, he was near finished. Um, but he does look really, really good. I really like him. Um, I don't really know what else to say about him. He looks just amazing. Uh, it looks like he's some sort of, like, um, heart master kind of thing. Because uh, a little Legends class figure. Not not one of these Legends. But uh, the other Legends that are a little bit smaller and simpler. Uh, looks like he could fit inside of his chest and be like... A, the pilot, which is awesome. Um, I mean, I know that's not, like, accurate by any means whatsoever, but who cares? We're getting an Ultra Magnus for classic scale. <laughs> it's going to be a leader class, so it's going to be, like, the size of the jet fire, um, which is going to be awesome, uh, because I think that's where Ultra Magnus needs to be um, for classic scale. Uh, I'm really excited. Uh, he's going to be, you know, what, 45 50 bucks. Uh, and you can't argue with a price like that for a figure like that. Um, I, I, hands down, I think, um, I think, so all in all, what I have to say, um, the one that stole the show for me was Ultra Magnus. Um, the first pictures of him that kind of leaked out, I was like, oh my God, this is it. This is the figure, uh, figure of the year from Hasbro. <laughs> Um, not to be confused with Takara, that would be Masterpiece figures, so I don't think he's quite Takara level, but, ah, you know, figure of the year for Hasbro, I think, um, looks incredible, um, and I would say the surprise hit is by far going to be the Cyclonus, because like I said, I don't think anybody was expecting much from the Cyclonus, so when we finally saw it, we were like, Huh, that looks pretty good. Um, so that's that's really awesome. And and then for me, the disappointment was the bot modes for Devastator. Um, I I was really underwhelmed for them. Um, but then again, you know, this might also go into like 
one of my issues with the Masterpiece Ultra Magnus is just the fact that, you know, it honestly should be one of the greatest figures of all time. But then when I step back and think about it, it's like, well, he's only going to be 150 bucks for something that's going to be a, a combiner almost the size of Metroplex. Uh, and honestly, I have to sit there, sit back and say, well, you know, you know, maybe that's just the best they could do. Um, and that's really unfortunate. Um, it, it's really unfortunate because um, I, like most people out there, would spend, you know, close to $600 if they made it really accurate. Uh, and made it really awesome. Like, you know, I mean, hell, we all did with Hercules at one point, uh, or most of us did. Um, or spent at least 400 on Giant. Um, you know, we, there, Giant, there, back there. Um, you know, we, uh, you know, we've spent crazy amounts of money on the third party figures so if Hasbro actually made the official product and was charging about the same much as third party I think most of us would still not bat an eye on it because then now we're like oh well at least this is Hasbro quality and we don't have to sit there and wonder well is he gonna be good is he gonna be bad you know whatever um but I mean 150 bucks still isn't that bad of a deal even if he does look like an oversimplified legend or an oversized legends class figure um like I said, unfortunate, but it is what it is. So, uh, so yeah, there, there you go. There's my thoughts on the Toy Fair. Um, a lot of cool things coming out. Um, very excited. Um, you know, they haven't officially said that they're an onslaught or Bruticus, but I'm excited for him because I'm, I'm pretty sure at this point it's, it's pretty much in the bag that we're going to get one of those. And, you know, if, if they really are going to do a scatter shot, um, probably another retool of the uh, silver bolt mold, I would imagine. Uh, then I, I, w I would be shocked not to see the rest of the Technobots. Um, so, so yeah, there you go. Uh, I think it's going to be a fun year again. Again, I I've said this a couple times, but I think it's going to be a fun year.